Am I gonna be cold tonight? We'll see. Hi there. This is Kat from Steps by Katchen and welcome back to my channel. What am I gonna do this week? Well, I'm gonna try out my gear in winter time. Well, say when the temperatures are below freezing. So, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use my tent, which is an MSR Reflex 1, Carbon Reflex 1. And this is normally a three season tent, but since it's just below freezing, it should be okay. And I have my Neo Air um, camera rests, which I will be using underneath me as a sleeping pad. And what I'll do, I'll just start now by putting this up and then we'll go over what else I have in my backpack. Let's go. My tent is set up so that'll keep me dry and a bit sheltered from the wind during the night and I have a good sleeping pad which will keep me from the cold coming up from the floor. So that's already some basic stuff. But of course one of the most important things when you're sleeping outside in a tent is you need a pretty good sleeping bag that can be a kilt or whatever but I have this Z-Pack sleeping bag a 20 degree one so 20 degree that's a minus 7 uh, Celsius so since it's gonna be a minus 3 coming up which is about the 26 Fahrenheit I should be okay and that's what I want to test tonight you see if this sleeping bag is what it says it is and I'm gonna be comfortable or not Let's try it. So this is going to be a surprise <laughs> and see how it turns out. But of course, you know, I have some extra stuff because I don't trust it to be really comfortable until, you know, up to minus three or even minus seven. So there, therefore, I'm taking some extra stuff into my tent. So in case during the night I get cold, I can put something extra there and I'll show you what I have. You know, I don't want to go and have to go inside and then have, you know, everybody laughing at me because I couldn't stand being out. They think I'm crazy anyway to be out here and trying and to sleep outside freezing temperatures. So, okay, so what am I going to take? This is my um, hammock underkilt. And that's in case I feel that the cold is more coming from the floor. That's what I want to put as an extra layer underneath me. Or I can put it as an extra layer on top of me. We'll see whatever is necessary. Uh, but I'll keep this closed. Then I have this old fleece sleeping bag. It's a bit heavy. So really taking it on a hike, I might not do it. But I want to have it nearby tonight. So when I sleep, I'll, and it's not warm enough, I can just put this in as an extra layer and this should, this should keep me and give me another five degrees of comfort uh, to sleep in. So I'll keep this nearby. Something else I'm going to do to keep me warm is I'm going to use this water bottle. It's an extra, it has an extra layer so it should keep the water warm for a longer time and I'm going to put this at my feet so that way I won't have any cold feet. I hope so anyway. And then of course I have my clothes and I got out all my hiking clothes and see if this is going to be enough because that's what in fact what I'm really trying to figure out is is my hiking gear as I usually take it enough when it gets cold at night like sitting in a mountain area it can really get 
close to freezing at night, even in the summertime. So you need to have enough stuff to keep you warm. So that's what I want to test tonight. So what do I have in here? I have basic t-shirt. Um, I have a merino wool t-shirt, long sleeve. I can put on top of that one. I have some long johns to put on, keep my legs warm. I have my extra socks, which should keep me warm. I have a bandana. I have gloves to sleep, oh well, gloves. I have a hat, keep your hat always warm when sleeping because you lose a lot of heat by your head. Okay, I have my hiking fleece, which I can put on. I have my hiking puffy to put on if necessary. Do I have anything else? No, this is it. So, this is what I will be wearing to sleeping tonight. So, I think I might be all right. So, I guess that's it. So, this is what I'm gonna use, what I'm gonna try tonight to sleep. And so now I have to wait until it gets dark and I can go into my bed. So, but I'll show you how it works out and you can see it later on. Okay? I'm curious. I made it inside my tent now and I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I'm not cold for the moment, so that's good. And I have my hot water bottle with me. There's especially a lot of hot water in there. I don't really feel it on the outside. It's too well insulated. Okay, but I'll put it at the bottom of my sleeping bag anyway. And I'll put this in there as well. And what's this? That's my electronics like my power bank, extra camera, phone. That all goes at the bottom of my sleeping bag as well because you don't want to have that in freezing temperatures and then no phone tomorrow morning. No? So that's that. And then I'll just crawl into my bag and hopefully I'll have a good night. And tomorrow morning I'll check in and let you know how this all got, went and if I was cold or whatever okay so good night and don't let the bugs bite Bye. good morning you guys out there i'm still nice and cozy inside my sleeping bag because getting out that's the hardest part about sleeping out in freezing temperatures Oof. Well, but how did I do? Well, not too bad. I woke up at a quarter to five because I needed to go to pee, pee and uh, that was hard. And so when I came back in, I decided, well, to add uh, an extra layer to my sleeping bag. It wasn't that I was cold, but this made it a bit more comfortable. So, And then my water bottle, the water in there is still hot. Well. Warm enough, I think, to make a cup of tea. Hmm? Which is not ideal if you want to warm up your feet, but it's nice to have in the morning when you want to make a cup of tea. So, maybe something to remember. But this was it for my test, my gear testing out in winter. And so, um, I know that if I really want to go on winter camp, I might have to have a buy it a better sleeping bag but otherwise I didn't do too bad okay so thanks for joining me on my little test run and I hope I see you guys next week again okay bye <laughs>